एट जीरो जीरो इट वुड बी लिमिट दिस टाइम वी विल से के अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो यू एट जीरो के माइनस यू जीरो जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई के द रीजन बींग लेट मी राइट द फॉर्मूला फोर डेरिवेटिव ओनली Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever the time you are watching it. So as you know, I am Priyanka Godara, faculty of Plutus SIS, and as we have started the series for PYQs of Mathematics Optional. In the last series, we have discussed analytic function and how to find out an analytical function if its real part is given, if its imaginary part is given, and there were two methods. One was method by milne thompson method and another one was by the way of finding harmonic conjugate so in the last lecture that was the thing and in this lecture we are going to do questions based upon cr equation and continuity differentiability of analytic function so upsc usually asks this type of question that i have taken from 2014 paper paper 2 of 2014 of maths optional so in this question they have said that this is particular function which is of the type u plus iota v <coughs> and they said fz is defined in such a way it, and you need to prove the, this is collective net definition that fz is equal to 0 when z is not equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 if f x f0 is z, z is equal to 0 you need to show that it satisfies process riemann equation at origin that is particular point but the derivative of f at z is equal to 0 does not exist so how would you prove that that derivative at z is equal to 0 does not prove does not exist but it satisfies cr equation first thing we will prove that it satisfies cr equation at 0 so for what is the cr equation they are saying f z is equal to u plus iota v if fz is equal to u plus iota v then <coughs> cr equations are ux that is curl x by curl u by curl x partial derivative of u with respect to partial with respect to x should be equal to ux is equal to v u v y curl v by curl y and u y that is partial derivative of u with respect to y should be equal to minus of partial derivative of v with respect to x so these are the cr equation and we will check whether they it whether the given function satisfies these equations or not so for satisfying this function to be cr equation it should be in the format of real part and imaginary part but they have the collecting things so first we need to change fz in the form of u plus iota v where you can segregate your real part and imaginary part so let's write it in that format only fz is equal to if i do write real part then it would be x cube minus y cube divided by x square plus y square plus iota times it would be x cube plus y cube divided by x square plus y square so this is fz if z is not equal to 0 And zero if z is equal to zero. So this is the function they had said that it is the function defined in such way. Now u is what u here is x cube minus y cube or x square plus y square, and v is iota x cube plus y cube divided by x square plus y square, and curl u by curl x would be. derivative of this that is partial derivative with respect to x so it is x square plus y square x square plus y square into partial derivative of this with respect to x that is 3x square minus numerator as it is and derivative of denominator that is 2x and ultimately it turns out to be 3x4 raised to power 4 and it would be minus x raised to power 2x raised to power 4 so ultimately it would be x raised to power 4 And three x square y square from here we will be getting so write that one three x square y square minus minus plus two x y cube divided by x square plus y square and whole square. 
let me divide it again acha <coughs> one tip for you guys in the mains paper whenever you do write your mains exam so before doing anything segregate or part or do partition of your page because you would be getting lesser space bahut kam space milta hai and it may not be it is quite possible ki kuch mistake ho jati hai to tumhare paas space nahi bachta hai if you have partitioned the page in the starting only तो यू वुड बी हैविंग सम स्पेस फॉर रेटिफिकेशन और उससे ज़्यादा बेबस इंसान को ही नहीं होता जिसे पता है उसका क्वेश्चन गलत है बट स्टिल दे कैन डू एनी थिंग है ना सो पहले ही पार्टीशन कर लो और कभी कभी क्वेश्चन भी लैंडिंग हो जाता है तो स्पेस ना होने की वजह से मार्क्स नहीं आते दैट इज वेरी पैथेटिक थिंग कि इससे बुरा कुछ हो नहीं सकता था है ना सो दिस इज योर कर्ल यू बाय कर लेक्स बट वी नीड टू चेक सी आर इक्वेशन एट ओरिजिन तो what would happen at origin how would you find out at origin can you find i have purposefully done this because this is the mental attitude of the person ki aise karke nikal lete hain uske baad we will check whether they exist or not but can we do this way if i do want to check ux at this point so at 0 0 this limit cannot be find out directly if you do find out do want to find out you have to put something then you can find out so instead of doing this whenever they ask you to find out your derivative na at zero or some specific point then rather than going directly that first differentiating directly and then putting the value you should use the definition of derivative function and definition of derivative derivative function says if you want to find out u x at 0 0 that is you are doing partial derivative with respect to x so it would be limit x approaching to 0 or you can say h approaching to 0 because we are doing small change and it would be u at h0 minus u at 0 0 divided by h this is the definition at 0 0 and this would be easier one to find out because now you would be getting directly the derivative at 0 0 and this is how you need you need to remember these steps these are kind of guidelines guidelines ki for which question we should follow which type of tricks and these tricks saves your time and ye practice ke sath aate hai but if you do practice aur usko thoda sa dhyan se nahi karte hain to practice mein it should be like hard work nahi hona chahiye smart work hona chahiye ki do char question kar liye uske baad samajh aana chahiye ki kis question ko dekh ke hame kaun se wale technique follow karni hai kyunki derivative nikalna to dono tarike se hai na वहां से भी निकाल सकते हो ऐसे भी निकाल सकते हो बट वाई वी रिक्वायर डेरिवेटिव फॉर ऑल द पॉइंट्स व्हेन इट इज आस फॉर ओनली वन पॉइंट एंड दैट टू विद ओरिजिन सो ओरिजिन वाला ही निकालेंगे एंड ना फाइंड आउट दिस वन इट वुड बी यहां से एच जीरो दैट मींस एच क्यू बाय एच स्क्वायर माइनस यू एट जीरो जीरो दे हैड सेट कैन आई राइट दिस वन एट जीरो प्लस जीरो आयोटा तो यू इज जीरो वी इज जीरो एंड हेंस इट वुड बी जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय एच एंड दिस वैल्यू टर्न्स आउट टू बी वन Similarly, if I do want to find out u y at zero zero, it would be limit. This time we will say k approaching to zero, u at zero k minus u zero zero divided by k. The region being, let me write the formula for derivative only. Limit f dash tan kya hota? एफ डेस एक्स वाई ही कर लो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट एट ए बी एट पॉइंट ए बी सो लिमिट ए बी ए बी एक्स वाई अप्रोचिंग टू एक्स कॉमा वाई अप्रोचिंग टू ए बी एफ ओ पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव का बताना है ना चलो पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव करते हैं तो पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव के लिए कल एफ वाई कल एक्स at x y so it would be at point x is equal to a b a nikal lenge to ye ho jayega tumhara sirf a b pe hai to x pe change kar rahe ho x plus h ho jayega dusra x ho jayega so jab nikalenge limit x approaching to or you can say h approaching to 0 you need to find out at a b x comma y so it would be f of a plus h comma b minus f of a b divided by h that is you are just changing 
some you are just changing x as 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 some function and that is variation is small h and b is kept as it is so that would be partial derivative with respect to h x and if you want to write partial derivative with respect to y x comma y then it would be <coughs> at point obviously a comma b so we will just change your function at y and at y we are taking change as k so it would be a b plus k minus f of a comma b divided by a and that is how you calculate partial derivative so it, you are now changing check no changing you are just finding out partial derivative with respect to x and y at 0 0 so in place of a and b we would be having 0 0 and that is how <coughs> you will write these formulas now calculate this one limit a approaching to 0 u 0 k u 0 k means minus k q divided by k square minus u 0 0 would be obviously 0 0 plus iota f divided by k and this would be minus 1. Similarly, if you, I want to find out v x at 0, 0, then it would be, yaha se, iota nahi lena hai, v, v is not along with iota, iota to imaginary part ko dikhata hai, that is v is equal to this one only. So, limit h approaching to 0, v at h 0, that is minus v at 0, 0 divided by h and this would be limit h approaching to 0 v h 0 that is h cube by h square minus 0 divided by h and hence it is 1. Then we need to find out v y at 0 0 that would be limit h approaching to 0 no h k approaching to 0 because you are changing this time y and if y is being changed then from here you would be getting k q divided by k square and that minus 0 by k and it is 1. Now check whether they are what we need to check. We need to find out these values whether u x is equal to v y. u x is equal to 1. See this is u x. So u x is equal to 1 and v y. v y is again equal to 1. Hence this is satisfied. Yes u x is equal to v y and both are equal to 1. Then they are saying v y. u y that is u and this is u y u y is equal to minus 1 should be equal to minus of v x and minus of v x kitna ho jayega that would be also minus 1 so both of them are equal to minus 1 right and hence both those equations are satisfied and hence the given function satisfies cr equation but next we need to prove that this does satisfy cr equation but is not but its derivative at 0, 0 does not exist. And how would you find out whether its derivative at 0, 0 exists or not? 0, 0 means z is equal to 0. So if you do need to find out derivative at 0, 0, then what is the definition? How would you find out? <coughs> derivative at 0, 0. That is f x, y. You can say f z is equal to f of x, y, z. And that can be written as limit x comma y approaching to 0, 0 that is x. And then you have to write here f of z 0, 0 pe nikal hai, sorry. So directly once we will write limit. Malo ki you are changing h as h. So this will be f of h minus f of 0 divided by h z this time h only because z is single function our single variable f z f z means if z is a function but whenever you would be converting your z then it would be h approaching to 0 or you can say z approaching to 0 directly z bhi likh sakte hai to change z mein hi hai directly z bhi likh to koi frak nahi padta aur niche z ho jayega z minus 0 when but we do have your function in the form of x and y so this would convert into limit x comma y approaching to 0 0 and this would be f of x comma y minus f of 0 0 divided by x comma y minus 0 that is x minus 0 into 
वाई माइनस जीरो होगा तुम्हारा एक्स नीचे जेड इज जेड अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो है ना सो so, जेड वाला एच भी लिख दो चाहे तुम्हारी मर्जी है जेड माइनस जीरो जेड को कैसे लिखोगे एक्स प्लस आयोटा वाई होता है तो दिस इज एक्स प्लस आयोटा वाई माइनस जीरो आगे हम देख लेते हैं जो भी बनेगा क्योंकि बिकॉज जेड इज एक्स प्लस आयोटा वाई रादर देन मल्टीप्लीकेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एक्स इंटू वाई होता तो होता तो इट वुड बी एक्स प्लस आयोटा वाई माइनस जीरो एंड नाउ लेट्स राइट दिस वेड इज लिमिट एक्स को मोबाइल अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो जीरो वट इज एफ एक्स वाई एफ एक्स वाई इज ए जेड ओनली सो एफ एक्स वाई इज दिस वन या ऊपर वाला लिखे तो एक ही बात है दोनों में से एक्स क्यूब ऊपर वाले में कलेक्टिव कर रखा है ना तो वो ज्यादा इजी रहेगा एक्स क्यूब इंटू वन प्लस आयोटा माइनस वाई क्यूब इंटू वन माइनस आयोटा इज देर आई थिंक वन माइनस आयोटा डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड एफ जीरो जीरो इज अगेन जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स प्लस आयोटा वाई and this is limit x comma y approaching to 0 0 it is x cube 1 plus iota minus y cube 1 minus iota divided by x square plus y square into x plus iota y and now how would you find out this limit this is a two variable function and you need to find out its limit then in two variable function we know we can approach the value from anywhere whenever it comes to about real lines so usko hum either from left side se approach kar sakte hain ya right side se approach karte hain but when it comes about complex now complex analysis this is complex part only so you can approach from any kisi bhi line ke across kisi bhi curve ke across approach kar sakte hain so that you can calculate the values aur jab bhi limit तो मैं कैलकुलेट करनी हो तो वी यूजली डू ट्राई दैट वी कैन रिड्यूस द एंटायर फंक्शन इन टू सिंगल वेरिएबल सो दैट लिमिट सब्सिट्यूट करना इजी रह जाए सो हाउ वुड यू अप्रोच कैन आई राइट सी एक्स एंड वाई बोथ आर अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो जीरो इफ आई डू अप्रोच अलॉन्ग द लाइन वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स सो वेन एवर योर एक्स वुड बी अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो वाई वुड बी अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो एंड हेंस इफ आई कैन डायरेक्टली पुट वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स सो वी विल राइट दिस एज लेट्स find out the limit along y is equal to mx where y would approach to 0 as x would be approaching to 0 and hence the function fz उतरना तो कितना हो जाएगा एफ जेड नहीं है ये लिमिट है भाई एफ डैश जेड डेरिवेटिव निकालते हैं ना एफ डैश जेड जेड डेड एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो और यू कैन राइट एफ डैश जीरो ये डेरिवेटिव की डेफिनेशन होती है सो एफ डैश जीरो क्या हो जाएगा यहाँ से दिस वुड बी लिमिट ओनली एक्स अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो वी डी नीड टू राइट बिकॉज वाई ऑटोमेटिकली वुड बी टेंडिंग टू जीरो एंड यू हैव टू यू हैव कन्वर्टेड Entire function into single variable that is x. Y को हमने x पर ही dependent बना लिया. So write that these values. This would be x cube one plus iota minus y cube would be m cube x cube one minus iota divided by नीचे तुम्हारा क्या है x square plus m square x square and then it is x plus iota and x from upper and lower Side that is numerator and denominator take x common. Highest power of x is x cube on the upper side, and it is one plus iota minus one plus iota divided by x. X square can be taken out from the first bracket, and x can be taken out from the second bracket. So in total, we are getting x cube, and it would be one plus m square, one plus m iota, and hence it is cancelled. And now see. एक्स तो एंटायरली कैंसिल होगा वी आर लेफ्ट विथ टू आयोटा ओवर वन प्लस एम स्क्र एन टू वन प्लस एम आयोटा एंड देयर इज नो टर्म ऑफ एक्स सो देयर इज नो सेंस ऑफ राइटिंग लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू जीरो बट सी हेयर एफ डे जीरो इज इक्वल टू दिस वन एंड इट वुड कीप चेंजिंग इफ आई डू चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ एम 
for example if i do put m is equal to 1 this would be giving some different value and if i would be putting m is equal to 2 then the value of f dash 0 would be something different and this way we can say the limit which should have been unique is turning out to be different for different value and the way of writing is this here is the derivative function varies according to the choice of m and hence the limit does not exist. If the limit of something exists, then it should be unique, does not exist. If the limit vary then it does not exist. And if this limit does not exist, therefore, fz is not differentiable at, at z is equal to 0. And that is it. SAE Yame exam me prove karna hai. First you need to prove all the <coughs> all the thing that they have asked that you have to show whether the CR equations are satisfied or not. CR equations ya poche Riemann's poche Riemann's equation jo bhi tum kehna chau. And then second time you need to show. So the thing that I needed to deliver here is solution mein jayega. But the thing whenever they ask to check CR equation at some particular point then rather than going directly by derivative agar tumhe dikhana hi hai 0 0 pe so we will follow this this definition part ye definition wala procedure follow karenge na ki directly derivative calculate karna kyunki maine karke dikhaya tha starting mein jaise hi directly derivative complete calculate kiya in the last manner it was the turn to put the limit the function there was no existing at all or exist bhi karta to limit ko hame waise hi y is equal to mx type put karke limit nikalni padti and that would have been very lengthy so paper mein hame same save karna hai do cheeze time aur space dono matter karte hain bhai chahe gs ho chahe optional ho har kisi mein time aur space depends very much bahut zyada chahiye hota hai so hum save karenge and this is how this is your first trick ki ye question exam mein aate hi aate hain same thing happens in real analysis as well real analysis mein bhi yahi aata hai you, whenever they would be asking differentiation continuity wale question for two variable or three variable but jab bhi baat aa jati hai multi variable differentiability and continuity is in our syllabus of for real analysis na to wo uske syllabus mein hai real and calculus mein dono mein se kisi mein bhi laga lo dono jagah se puch lete hain so wahan pe bhi ye cheeze kaam aati hain and these are the tricks that you need to remember ha to past year paper se yahi to seekhna hai which are the more important thing or where, where we need to focus so that was it and likewise jaise humne last wale mein kiya tha this is the similar question question and that i have done and it is your homework do this question and if you do face any doubt then you can comment me in the comment box i will try to reply as soon as possible thank you aage milte hain is series mein Complex analysis ki we will discuss singularities topic and power series. Singularity and power series is also one of the favorite area of UPSC. In the next lecture, we will do that thing. Chal, see you. Thank you.